beautiful lot. Welcome to today's episode of Perfect Vision. Now, I'm with Jamie Brady. Hello. And we're out at New Bradford, well, at Bradwell, near Wolverton. And we've just seen this, and it's epic. No, no. Uh, 12.22, I think it's said no, it was good. No, 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 not this one, but the uh, earliest one they excavated. Ah, I don't okay. know if they actually took the dates off this one. Did they not? Uh, yeah, let's have a ganders. It's not really been looked after. Hmm. The earliest mill, uh, ah, yeah, so the earliest mills, the ones where the whole body moved, were 12.20. Okay, so in 1805 so it's not really that old oh okay i thought being made out of stone it would have been a lot older the construction of the grand U junction canal now the grand union canal in 1805 opened up the possibility of trading with a much wider market a samuel holman anticipated this and bought part of the field called the yowies or yowies in bradwell which is where we are now where he erected a tower mill he chose a good position on the south slope of the Great Ouse Valley next to the New Canal, where it was exposed to the north, west and southeast winds. Locally quarried limestone was used for the tower with a reinforced mound around the footings, which also provided a raised walkway for tending the sails. The cost was probably more than £500, which was not cheap by the standards of the day. The success of this local enterprise, buying grain and selling flour, appears to be mixed as the mill had several owners during its short working life of 60 years. By 1876, a decline in arable farming in this area and competition from large modern rolling mills for imported grain had made the mill uneconomic to run. Ah, so big wheels, mills like what you see with um, Hay Hayford yeah, Mills? Uh, Haygate. uh, Haygate, yeah, Haygates. Yeah, Haygates well, um, yeah, and yeah. down Whitworths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so e even they, cha they chopped out their old water mills and bought in yeah, the steam yeah, yeah, ones, yeah, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. To deal with the Canadian wheat, which was a harder grain. So yeah well there you go i'll tell you what though but what we're gonna do is uh i'll take a little walk around i'll show you the bit of the video there and then i'll show you the drone footage so i hope you enjoy yeah look at oh, that engie. i thought it's an engine there i thought what ng what's the name of the company in it right? oh okay yeah mm, look at that stones. well they're not actually they're ground mill stones corn stone is a hand awesome. yeah it's interesting the way it sits on top of the back. Yeah, but they've done quite a few repairs to it, which is nice. Surrounding wall as well. Uh, there's the railway line yeah, where we just were. It's all this technology. You know, uh, this is technology of the sort. I mean, well, yeah, it is, isn't time, it? Wasn't it? <laughs> for the ladies <laughs> no i'm leaving that in mate for the ladies <laughs> i'm leaving that right in that's awesome i love that
So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Absolutely love that one. So thank you, Jamie. Me and Jamie now gonna go walk on to Wolverton. We wanna go and explore some more of the abandoned and disused railways there. So I do hope you like it. Uh, music's also done by the talented Jamie Brady as well, I love you know. So it is exclusive to YouTube until Jamie decides to make an album to sell via the channel. So until then, just enjoy. So, <laughs> peace, love and light. The whole heap of unity. It's all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs>